Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through the uh, functionality of the application that was built fully with GPT Pilot. And I gotta say, this one is pretty complex comparing to other like AI developer tools. All right, so let's go through it. So just as a brief background, so uh, basically this is a, a user interface for the for the company that does scraping. So basically they have their own scrapers, their backends, and what this, this does is this processes like, like user interface, admin dashboard, uh, mailing, billing, and, and so on. All right, so let's see the functionalities. First, a couple of static pages, your own API key, credit utilization, and so on. You have contact info, some static pages. Then you can buy credits, and you can buy them with Stripe or PayPal. You can just click here, pay with Stripe, it will go to to the the stripe checkout page now what is interesting here is that this is not like a standard um, standard pricing plan but rather this is a, a relatively complex pricing by by tiers so it has like uh, from from zero credits to five thousand it's one price from five thousand to another uh, threshold it's another price and so on and keep this in mind that there are currently three uh, tiers but in reality we can add more all right, so after um, user can, can buy credits here, then they can go through the, their billing page. So here, first you have like an invoice history, you can download an invoice, uh, there are like previous, previous invoices as well. Then we have auto replenish settings. So what this does is that basically if you put a threshold setting, let's say that I want to, want to have credits whenever they go below some value, I want to buy additional credits. And you can enable or disable that save settings and this happens automatically it, whatever uh, payment method you use the first time it will use that payment method to automatically buy more credits whenever they go below some some threshold um all right so this is the the, the billing of the user dashboard uh, then obviously you have uh, log out and uh, then what what is really interesting is that there is an admin dashboard so as you go to the admin dashboard, this is for spe specific users, you can go and manage manage users. Here you can automatically verify their email. Uh, you can edit a user. Let's say we edit this one. You can edit their email address, username, their, uh, their address. Then you can just adjust their credits. So you can automatically just go and type in, let's say I want to subtract 400,000, uh, 40K, 40K um, credits. And now, if you see here, here before it was 250 credits, now it has 210. Then we can have custom pricing for each specific user. So we can, I can put in tier name, uh, uh, credit uh, threshold to start from credit threshold to to go up to and a price per credit and i can just update it and they will have specific price only for that user and uh, then we can see their invoices we can refund them as well credit stats this is the same as from the user dashboard and i can create custom invoice i can create a specific uh for specific price specific credits to allocate and i can create this invoice it will automatically build the customer send them an invoice and uh, it will update their credits on their account and um, by the way so all this is done by requirements of this one client of ours and to be honest as, as i was going through this through all these functionalities i was always thinking the gpt pilot will just not be able to continue but it was able to get this far currently it's around uh, 300 3200 uh, lines of code and this is current threshold of gpt pilot about that uh, it's starting to struggle we're currently working on that but just so you can see what kind of an application is for these 3000 uh, lines of code um then what is really interesting functionality and this is all again all done by gpt pilot uh, along with with a human i was uh, mostly like uh, telling gpt pilot do this do that and so on i can view as a user if i click this i will view okay so this is my own uh, my own account but for example i can view as this user right and i will see the entire dashboard as this user right 
So I can see their API key, I can see, see their billing page and so on. So this is basically view as, uh, as a user. And finally, I can manage pricing tiers. So here we have a couple of pricing tiers that are default to all users. And I, as an admin, I can change them. So this is basically changing the default, the default pricing tiers as an admin. Uh, and I believe that is basically it from all the functionality. Uh, you can buy with PayPal. Yeah, that's that's pretty much pretty much it. Um, anyway, this is it. I hope you like it. Uh, this is basically a showcase of the most complicated application that GPT Pilot is currently able to uh, create. Uh, feel free to email us if you try GPT Pilot out. Let us know how it went. Let us know your feedback. We're super open to hearing it. And yeah. Hope you have a great one. Bye-bye.